Rolando Gabriel D. Oh, and here he comes, eight and four, Rolando Gabriel D, 25 years old, fighting out of the Philippines. And some real tough fighters here that we've seen coming out of the Philippines here for Brave Combat Federation. And when you take a look at that record, he's on a nice little roll right now, Rama. Yeah, he's on three and zero right now, and I think he's hoping to make a little stamp here in India on uh, Nelson Pice. No doubt. And, uh, Last fight was a decision victory over Aiden Moroki. That was back in November of last year. Then it was Kayomi Matsushima. He takes him out with a knockout punch. That was in the first round, 23 seconds in. Then it was Miguel Mosquera, a decision, unanimous decision back in January. So a very active fighter. He stays busy. And uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. You want to make a big impression with a show like Brave Combat Federation that has a great foothold in the Philippines. We're actually being seen right now in the Philippines. We have a huge audience there. So he definitely wants to show everybody back home what he's made of. But it's not gonna be an easy task taking on a guy like Nelson Pius. Very, very tough fighter based out of Brazil. Actually, I take that back, not based out of Brazil, based out of India, originally from Brazil, but actually fighting out of Goa. Yes, he currently represents Goa, um, which is the yoga slash beach slash trance town of India. <laughs> Pseudo Miami. I gotta check it out. Oh, you do? Yeah, absolutely. Great family time too, I'm sure. And let's welcome his opponent into the cage. Give it up for Nelson Paya. And now Nelson Paya is 30 years old. As I said before, fighting out of India, originally from Brazil, living in Goa, and a very, very tough guy. Also coming off a three-fight win streak right now. And uh, you got two guys coming off a streak. Nobody wants to give up that loss right now. They have a lot of momentum. A lot of bright future for both these guys. So this is a big opportunity for both of them to get that fourth win in a row. Absolutely. Uh, Nelson has a boxing background and is actually uh, a competitor within the national circuit in boxing in India also. Gonna be a good one. We're gonna see some striking out of these two. You talked about that boxing background. Both men are really planning on making this a striking battle, but at the end of the day, it's all about getting the W. And you can expect a guy like Gabriel D to try to take this thing into deep water, try to grind it out, and get Pius, who has some devastating power. Brave Combat Federation here in Mumbai, India. The dome at NSCI. Right now, let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Eight and four for D, three and two for Pius. Got that age advantage going to the Filipino fighter. Let's send it up to Carlos Kramer for our official introduction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next battle is three five minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing our first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of eight wins and four losses. He stands 175.2 centimeters tall and weighs in at a ready 65.7 kilograms. Representing Insider Gym and fighting out of Davao City in the Philippines. Put your hands together for the incredible Rolando Gabriel D. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of three wins and two losses. He stands 175 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 66.2 kilograms. Representing Team Nelson and fighting out of Goa. Please give it up for Nelson Payet. Your referee is Mark Goddard. And 
here we go. It is featherweight action here in Mumbai. As you want to look, take a look at our tail of the tape. This one is going to be a battle of two featherweights on some incredible streaks here in Brave 5. Start off with uh, a few finishes. Let's see if it, the streak continues. No doubt. Making the fans happy, that's for sure. In the gray is Gabriel D. Nelson Pius in the black. Oh, a nice left and right. Nice combination for the Filipino fighter. Again, we have an unmatched lead situation here with uh, Pius and Southpaw. Nice straight from by D. And oh, and he walked. Wow. Maybe that was an unintentional headbutt there. Oh. Wow, they just kind of collapsed there right That's at the same time, and that thing is bleeding bad. That's a he clash is. of heads. Wow. Good Lord, that gaping gash coming off the head of Nelson Pius, and that's gonna be very tough for the doctors to take care of because that was a clash, and his head busted wide open. Yeah, looks like uh, he's leaking pretty good. That's gonna be tough for them to close up, I think. I mean, like a sieve, the, the blood just pouring out. Mark Goddard is gonna, he's gonna talk to Gabriel D right now, and it doesn't look like there's a lot of damage for Gabriel D. Yeah, it looks like, uh, I mean. I'm, we'll I'll be very interested to see if Pius continues, because that, that cut's nasty. Yeah, let's see what the doctor can do here. And as soon, and if he takes another punch, let's take a look at the replay right here and we'll actually take a look. No, just missed it. Run that back a little bit earlier. It definitely wobbled Gabriel D. Like shot for a single. Yeah, they're going to call this fight off, and Mark Goddard's going to have to call the fight, unfortunately. But this one's going to be a no contest. Unintentional head clash. Wow, you hate to see that happen. Yeah. Such a... An early fight here. I was looking forward to this one. It looked really good there in the onset. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to break right now. We'll be back with our official decision from Mumbai. Yeah. Welcome back to Mumbai, India. Brave Five, go for glory. And it Looks does like appear that we're going to be going to a no contest. As you can see, Gabriel T actually has the ice on him right now. He took a pretty nasty hit. Obviously, Pius got busted open, but D was stunned. I mean, he barely could walk away from that clash. Yeah, it looked like uh, D was shooting for a single leg as Pius ducked. And uh, two very disappointed fighters. Yeah, and the funny thing is, Pius is the one that had to end the fight because he was leaking. But I think Gabriel D took more damage. It looks like he may have got a concussion from that hit. And I don't think Pius is really all that hurt, but, but he has the external wound, and that's the problem. Now, we're going to go up to our official decision. We'll send it up to Carlos Kramer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mark Goddard, calls this a no contest due to accidental clash of heads at 28 seconds of the very first round. Well, there you go. So it's, uh, it is a no contest, and hopefully we'll see these guys rematch. I actually would like to see the fight happen. It looked yeah. like it had all the makings of a good fight, Absolutely. Robert. Absolutely. I, I, uh, I feel really bad for these two gentlemen. You could really tell that they just wanted the fight to continue. No doubt about it.